So this question comes from Ali K. Um, I'm a new BS graduate and I was wondering which is better in the IT field, networking or development in condition of salary, stress, and difficulty? Development, hands down, no questions asked, done. Development, do you have any question? If you're like, where is the best money? Where should I go? Go to dev. Dev is the answer. Development, development, development. Um, also, I have the problem with getting experience since all companies this day want people with experience two to three or four years. How the hell should I get experience uh, if, if no one wants inexperienced people? Well, here's the thing. That's the deal. Uh, if you go into networking, everybody wants experienced people. It is very difficult uh, when you have zero experience to get into the whole networking field. It's not not impossible, obviously. It's just a long, it's a slog. It really is a slog. If you go into the development world, on the other hand, it can be a lot easier because people need a lot more developers. I mean, just just by the numbers, by the numbers, people need developers. There are crap tons of development jobs out there. Um, so just, again, just, just by the numbers, they need far more developers out there. The other nice thing is if you go into development that you can gain experience far easier than if you go into networking. So if you go into networking, the way you get experience is you actually have to work on the equipment. So Cisco equipment, Juniper equipment, whatever, HP equipment, whatever equipment you're dealing with, you've actually got to deal with that equipment. So in order to get experience working uh, in a network with you know 20 routers and 50 switches and all that kind of stuff you actually have to be in a network with all that equipment if nobody's willing to hire you then how do you get that experience and you know it's a whole chicken and the egg crap what I like about development is all you need is a computer and a compiler and you can be a developer, right? You can be getting experience right now creating apps um, without actually having to have a job, without having to have all this additional equipment. You get your little Mac or whatever laptop you have, and you can start producing stuff. So the big thing, uh, you know, I've gone out and I've talked with development shops, the CEOs uh, of, of companies, and what these companies do is they create apps for other companies. And basically what they say is they say they want to see your portfolio. What apps do you have? in the Google Play Store? Uh, what apps do you have in the, the, uh, the Apple App Store? Uh, what have you created? You go in there and you have five apps in the Google Play Store and you have a couple of apps uh, in the iOS Store and you've created a, a few web things. That is something that you can do completely and utterly on your own without any, any outside help and you can create that portfolio and you can show them what you did. You know, this is the app where I tie this open data uh, store to Google Maps to present this app. And they go, wow, okay, you know how to use the Google Map API and you know, need, know how to pull uh, data out of uh, the, the open data initiative, whatever the hell it's called, uh, and actually turn that into something, right? Uh, so that is what I would say. Uh, I would say go develop. I mean, hands down, there's no, there, there is no question here. There is no argument here. There is no debate here. Development is where the money is. Development is where the future is. Development, 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 development. Um, and so basically what I would say is go the development track. Um, so learn Ruby, uh, learn Swift if you want to learn something. So, you know, there's different development. There, there's web development, there's Android development, there's iOS development. So if you want to go web, um, for whatever reason, Ruby seems to be very valuable. Uh, so you go Ruby, most likely, if you're going to go web development. Uh, if you're going to go iOS, Swift, uh, is, the, uh, is the language now. And if you're going to go Android, you go Java. So basically, you pick the platform. And again, pull that out of your app, whatever platform you like. Uh, pick the platform you want to develop for, uh, learn the programming language for that, create 10, 10 projects, dump that into your portfolio, and away you go. And that is the thing. But development, 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 development. Have I said development? Yes, development. The other thing you can look for is in your area. Look for, I don't know where you are. Your name is Ali KHD, so where the hell that is in the world, I don't know. Here in like the Baltimore area or here in the United States, we have a lot of, um, uh, they're called startup, like startup communities. Um, it, uh, as a, as a long-term person, they're idiotic, but for you, they're useful. Um, basically, you have all of these cities who want to turn into the next Silicon Valley. Basically, they look at Silicon Valley and then they think they can somehow replicate this within a decade. 
which just shows you how stupid most of these people are. But it doesn't matter. Uh, the important thing is you have all these cities, especially here in the United States, that are trying to replicate Silicon Valley. So they're trying to bring in investors. They're trying to pump up all these startups. They're trying to create accelerators. Basically, they're trying to create this environment for startups to thrive so they can be the next Silicon Valley. Uh, what is valuable about this is it's all going to blow up. It is all going to go boom. But that doesn't matter to you. What matters to you is right now they need programmers. So since there is so much emphasis and so since, since there is so much money and resources going into this, if you can get into the startup community in your area, uh, you have a lot of people trying to create different startup companies. They have different ideas. You can go in. You can say, hey, I'm new, but I'm willing to work for free or cheap. You help build one person's MVP, uh, minimum viable product, or if nothing else, the prototype. Uh, then once you've done that, somebody sees what you've done, and then you go and you jump on another company, another company, another company, and all of a sudden, and not too long, you're making some really decent money. Um, so yeah, those would be some thoughts, but yeah, development, 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 uh, start building your own little projects for whatever platform you want, again, whatever you want, uh, and then look for your local startup community.